friends, I am Vansh and you are watching my YouTube channel. As I had promised you earlier that I will be sharing with you a video for the strategy of SSC Stenographer's Grade C and D written examination. So friends, here I am today with you sharing the video. While I have personally scored more than 155 a couple of times in SSC Stenographer's Grade C and D written examination, I am fully aware of the increasing difficulty level and the increasing uh, competition in the examination and therefore I have taken some important suggestions from one of my friends Arsh Badwaj who has cleared multiple competitive and entrance examinations and is currently uh, in the top 3 of many examinations in the test book mock test examinations. So friends in this video I will also share with you the books which can help you to score well in the examination if you study them well enough you are sure to do well so friends as you are already aware the exam consists of three main sections one is english of 100 marks which consists of 100 questions reasoning and gk of 50 marks each so friends you will have to dedicate time to each of these sections every single day if you are to do well let us assume that you are willing to give 6 to 7 hours of uh, your time for preparing for the same. 3 hours for English, 1.5 to 2 hours for reasoning and 1.5 to 2 hours for GK. So friends, you should begin your day by reading an English newspaper like the Times of India or the Hindu. It will help you in multiple ways. First of all, it will help you improve your comprehension and vocabulary skills. And it will also help you improve or memorize current affairs which will play a very important role in your examination. All you have to do is while reading the newspaper you have to make notes of it. Make notes of English separately and those of current affairs separately. Write down each word that you find difficult. Write down its meaning uh, and antonym that is synonyms and antonyms and it will surely help you. In the examination it will help you get a better understanding of English language which will, you will never be able to do by only de doing the theory. So it is very important that you read an English newspaper and of course for the current affairs section you should make it a habit to read English newspaper each and every day. You should make sure that you give at least one hour every day for preparing for understanding of the rules of English language of English grammar and for that you can choose any one book from S.P. Bakshi Objective General English or Lucent English or Plint to Paramount. Make sure you give at least one hour each day, take one topic and uh, understand the rules of it and try to apply it with every sentence that you come across throughout the day. It will make your understanding of the language very clear. Once you are done with doing this for one hour, once you have read properly for one hour, you have to dedicate one hour for practice. Practice of previous year examination question papers is also very important in English as it will help you to get a clear idea of what sort of questions are asked in the English language in the English section and for that purpose you can buy SSC Kiran's chapter wise solved papers uh, for SSC and you can also opt for MB publications English, English book it will also help you prepare for the same these books if studied well should help you in scoring a respectable score in English if you want to read more detailed if you want to go into every aspect of english language and you want to score more than 90 95 then you can also study from michael swain's practical english usage practice solving questions from that book also and try to understand the concept from that book it will make you even more better at english now friends for the reasoning section two books should be enough for you First of all, you can learn the concepts and practice some questions from R.S. Agrawal's A Verbal Modern Approach to Verbal and Nonverbal Reasoning. And you can also practice from Kiran's previous year questions. There are lots of questions, more than 10,000 questions, a book available in the market of Kiran, which contains more than 10,000 questions of reasoning 
practice from that and you are sure to do well you can also subscribe to some youtube channel which gives good videos for reasoning like priyal ma'am adda or mahindras make sure you give at least one and a half hour each day for reasoning while an, an accurate knowledge of rules is important it is also important to practice a lot in reasoning and at the same time make sure you learn enough tricks so that you are able to solve the questions fast enough you don't need to waste so much time in reasoning yes it is a time consuming uh, section after all but you need to be as fast as possible so that you are able to score well in that section it is a very important section you can score at least 45 marks in it it is a scoring section you can even score 50 out of 50 if you practice well so make sure you study each concept and practice as many questions as you can from reasoning watch half an hour of youtube videos at least from any of the channels i mentioned or any of the teachers you find good for reasoning it is sure to benefit you in the long run and now friends for the most boring and most ignored section of all examinations that is general knowledge it is it has now become one of the most important sections in the exam because of the increasing competition gone are the days when you could ignore gk completely and still qualify for the skill test now with the increasing competition and the difficulty level of the exam you have to make sure that you score a respectable total in gk for a standing a chance for having a chance of getting selected for the skill test and making it to the final merit list so how much amount of time are you going to give you have to give at least two hours each day how well you do in gk how well you score in gk can be a deciding factor in uh, whether you get selected or not it can prove to be a very important aspect so friends how do you prepare for gk the most important book if you don't have much time if you are not willing to give go into details of everything go for lucent you can prepare from lucent subjective book that is the book which explains and which has given it everything in theory and secondly you can opt for lucent gk objective that is in which all the questions are given and the answers are given as well these two books if you study them well enough you'll score a good amount of marks but if you are willing to give it more time if you want to go for grade c if you want mea if you want a 4600 grade pay if you want 4200 grade pay post then you will have to give more time and more and more energy for preparing re in gk and this is where the extra books will help you you can go for ncert 9th and 10th standard books for preparing biology for preparing history go into full details of those books you can also go for lucent general science book that is specific for science it will help you improve your score in science so friends gk mainly consists of two sections that is social studies which consists of history geography economics and polity and the other being science which includes of physics chemistry and biology give one hour to each of these sections choose one topic from both sections that is either you choose history or geography polity or economics from the social studies section and you can choose either physics chemistry or biology from the science section choose two topics likewise and give one hour to each of the topics read in detail solve the questions related to the topic make sure whatever topic you are selecting for the day you study it well enough not to lose any marks from that topic make it a habit to revise the topic before sleeping and make it a habit to revise the topic every week and every month so that the more you revise it the more you will be able to memorize it and you will be able to score well when that topic comes in the examination making notes is a very important factor in gk you should make sure that you make notes of every important thing every important topic that you study 
the more you write the more easily you remember and the more easily you will be able to recollect it during the examination to so make it a habit to write everything not only in gk but in english and reasoning as well make sure you make yourself notes in all the three topics now in gk current affairs is a very important topic so what do you do for current affairs from now onwards as i have told you you should make it a habit to read newspapers on a daily basis but for the time but if you have not read newspapers or you don't have the habit of new, reading newspaper already you will need to prepare for the last 6 months so for that you can opt for any offline magazine you can opt for pratyogita darpan or competition success review choose either of the two magazines study from that make notes from them and read it well you can also opt for study iq paid videos they are very good for current affairs se- section and will help you get better with the current affairs besides this you can also buy speedy's current affairs magazine which will help you a lot in preparing for this section and it will help you increase your score in the examination in the current affairs section in this way you can get a grip over gk and it can prove to be a determining factor for your success in the examination so friends i hope that you have liked this video i assure you that if you prepare with the strategy that i have mentioned here in this video and if you prepare it with discipline with regularity on a daily basis giving 6 to 7 hours each day for your preparation i assure you that you will do well in the examination and clear the written examination with flying colors i request all of you that if you have liked this video if you enjoyed watching this video and if you think that it will prove helpful in your preparation then please like this video comment in the comment section your views or your queries regarding the video you can question me about anything which is not clear to you i'll make sure i leave the names of the books i mentioned and a few additional books which can prove helpful in the description description section so that you can choose those books you can buy those book, books online or offline it would be available on amazon or flipkart or any stationery or any bookstore near you please share this video with all those friends who are interested in stenography or in any government job and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon i'll be meeting you soon and i'll be sharing with you a video in which i'll share the strategy for preparing for the skill test for stenographers grade c and d i have done my bit please share this video please follow this strategy and you are sure to benefit from it till then take care stay home and stay safe see ya